Hello again, YouTube, and this is an update video for folks that were wondering, you know, how I, how I fared with my uh, uh, ultra capacitor battery replacement uh, in my vehicle. And just to kind of let you know, I've been running it uh, for a while now, um, and it's been doing just fine. It's still hooked up to the car, and also, as you can see, I um, supplemented it with a little tiny battery. That that's a total lighting battery or one of those 12 volt batteries you can get from Home Depot for uh, your alarm system backup or some type of emergency lighting backup. You know, real, real tiny, real small. I mean, you could look at it and you see my hand in relation to, the, you know, the battery. It's just, just a real tiny battery. Uh, obviously, that thing cannot start the car, but it can definitely, you know, supplement or keep the uh, ultra capacitors, uh, you know, topped off. So, it's been doing fine and with that little battery, um, that little tiny, tiny battery. Um, you know, I can, you know, run the, <laughs> I can literally run the radio while the car is not, you know, um, running, you know, or anything like that. I can leave, you know, leave the lights on. And that was the concern that some people had is like, well, you know, what about, you know, if you, you know, leave the lights on or something like that. I mean, there are so many different ways to charge this ultra capacitor bank. I mean, I have a uh, little small, you know, 10 watt solar panel or something like that in the car, and that, that thing will charge up these ultra capacitors really, fi really fast on a bright sunny day. Um, I have my ultra capacitor jump box I can use. I mean, there's so many different things. And with this little battery right here, I mean, it's really no need. Um, all you just need is just a little simple battery, small battery. And uh, I mean, I have a video where I actually show, you know, me jumping the car after it was parked at the airport for like four days, four or five days, jumping jumping the car off with like, you know, AA batteries, you know. So, I mean, it can be done. Also, another update is I'm still using, uh, this is still a flex fuel vehicle that I converted. I'm still using the box from change to uh, E85 um, to run my car off of E85. So. Uh, the vehicle is still running. It's got over 100,000 miles on it now, I believe. And, um, you know, it's still it's still going. Um, with the ultra capacitor in that, I mean, you know, the vehicle is still trucking along. And so, again, this is just an update for you folks that were kind of wondering about the, uh, the ultra capacitor um, battery replacement. Um, it was a great idea. Uh, I, the idea goes to um, Laser Hacker. Um, you can check out his videos. Um, I think he was like one, maybe one of the first people to do this battery replacement type, you know, deal with the ultra capacitors. So uh, with this little battery here, it's really cheap. You can probably go get it from Home Depot or something like for maybe 15, 20 bucks or something. Um, and it lasts for a while. I'm just using it to top off the, uh, the, the ultra capacitor. So there's no huge draw on it. So it should last for a while. And the ultra capacitors, I mean, they, they'll probably last longer than the car. So anyway, YouTube, just an update for you folks that were wondering. Okay, take care.